saw the film about uh, preservation and conservation and restoration. And I feel, uh, I've been talking to Shivendra, that my book is associated with that, that unless you preserve and unless you restore, then you're not able to otherwise document it and research it. Like I had so many uh, hardships in collecting things from the past. And you are somebody who has always felt very passionately about this, spoken eloquently about this. I just felt that uh, in India we don't have the habit of any kind of documentation. And a lot of our valued heritage has been lost or is getting lost every day. Um, I'm really thankful to Shivain for um, initiating the heritage concept. Uh, I was there for the inauguration when we introduced uh, the institution that is now going to be looking after the heritage of films. And I have volunteered to work in this cause and uh, Shivain any time as always uh, when you shall need my services, I shall always be there. But really, uh, it's it's wonderful to have Bhavna put all the thoughts together. The generations to come will will want to know what happened in the early years, and uh, there really is no reference point for it. And I think that uh, for somebody like her to put across the hundred years of cinema in the form of a book, which it's not like reading a book, it's more uh, interesting to, to watch it, to go through it in a very fun way. And I think that's a very novel idea to keep the audiences and the readers attracted to something like this. So I compliment you Bhavna for that. Coming to the occasion, the reason we are all here. Out of all the performing arts, cinema is the most sensitive and the most effective medium. Cinema has the power to transform our lives, to transform our mindsets. Human life is mortal, but cinema is timeless. It told us stories yesterday, it tells us stories today, and it will tell us stories tomorrow. Stories of romance, stories of relationships, stories of friends, stories of family. My endeavor in compiling this book was to recreate images and motifs like the bioscope we used to watch in childhood. Trust me, to find a publisher for this kind of a book was very difficult. The question uh, I was asked was, what are the current uh, controversies that are there in the book? The focus is so much on controversies and current trends and everybody wants anecdotal. How can, my argument was, okay, how can I, if I am documenting milestones, get into the side track of trivia? I'm privileged that I found Penguin Random House who understood my point of view and respected the manuscript as it was. It is their vision that they were able to package this book in a contemporary address to the younger generation, peppered with dialogues from films and illustrations of posters. It is the publisher's solitary decision to have Mr. Bachchan on the cover. They were very clear that they wanted Amitabh Bachchan on the cover because he has the most outstanding body of work which started in 1969 in South Hindustani and it continues to 2016 with Pink and Piku. The conflict was which of Amitabh Bachchan's movies still should be put on the cover. They decided on Amar Akbar Anthony because, in their words, it brings a smile to their face.